drop even below zero. I mean, we're talking here in Houston, come on. I mean, two degrees right now in Huntsville, three degrees in College Station, feeling like four in Conroe, six in Tomball, feels like or those wind chill numbers are down to six degrees in Sugarland right now. So that's why we have these active wind chill warnings. That's in the gray and the turquoise, that's a wind chill advisory. Both of these are in effect until noon today. That's when I think these winds will finally start to back down, but they're sustained this morning anywhere from 10 upwards of almost 30 miles per hour towards the coast, 20 there in College Station, sustained winds around 15 in Sugarland. That's why we have the wind chill factor or the feels like temperature. Now, actually, our temperatures are teens and 20s. So these temperatures alone put us under that hard freeze status, status which is at 24 degrees or below for over two hours. So everyone is under a hard freeze warning this morning. Now, we are going to repeat this for early tomorrow morning. And in fact, Kim, you know, we've been tag teaming from yesterday to Day, and it's these uh, wind chills, but not only that, the actual air temperatures with this hard freeze, we don't see this all the time and it's dangerous as it is. I'll send it over to you. Yeah, Cheetah, it's the wind for today. Yesterday, it was the precipitation and the threat for that frozen layer. Today, it's the threat for us to lose heat very, very quickly, which is why it's advised that you don't spend any time outdoors today. Cheetah showed you those sustained winds at around 15 to 20 miles an hour. Well, wind gusts will stay at 20 to 30 miles an hour throughout the late morning into the early afternoon, and that's why we've got that wind chill warning and advisory until noon. Now, check out those feels like conditions as we go through the morning single digits for a number of hours so that's a snapshot at eight o'clock feels like four degrees downtown feels like one degree in tomball zeros is the feeling college station conroe brenham still feeling like the single digits through 10 o'clock once we lose that wind we'll start to see the actual feeling climb up into the teens and low 20s but still bitterly cold take all the necessary precautions dress in layers jen oh for sure thanks black and if you don't have to be out we ask that you not travel so that we keep it as nice and calm as possible as you probably heard yesterday was a very busy day for many commuters sitting and stuck in backup for hours possibly and emergency crews were also hard at work there are at least 60 icy roads that are still listed this morning on houston transstar's website we ask that you slow your speeds if you must be out on the roads we do have a major crash working on the north belt way eastbound at the Hardy. It's not going to go away anytime soon. It is involving a heavy truck and as you can see only far one far right lane gets through and that's it. The rest of the highways are also impacted including Southwest Freeway northbound that spur 527 ramp is also shut down. Did want to show you a couple camera shots before I let you go 249 drivers are moving very slowly there at Perry, but I am seeing traffic come in and out of Tomball and this is 45 at 242. I've been looking up and down the 45 corridor. Drivers are just using a lot of caution over to you. So feels like a wind chill down to two degrees in Huntsville, six in Conroe, six in Tomball, Sugarland. Right now you're feeling down to six degrees. So if you're watching us from the bed this morning and you're cozied up with the comforter over, lucky you, be thankful because it is dangerously cold outside. We not only have a wind chill advisory in the turquoise, but that gray color is actually a wind chill warning. Take a look at the criteria for that. That feels like between five degrees to even five below zero. So again, dangerous wind chill this morning. Now, actual air temperatures put us under a hard freeze. Teens and 20s across the board. 15 in Huntsville, 20 degrees in Sugarland. Those are the actual air temperatures. So again, this hard freeze, that's where our attention shifts today. And then again, early tomorrow morning. No more winter precipitation in the forecast. It's not only here locally that we're under this active hard freeze warning. Take a look at the amount of Gulf Coast states that are also seeing a hard freeze warning, and that's 24 degrees or below for two hours or longer. So Kim Castro, some dangerous cold weather, but it's the wind that we've been focused yeah. in on this morning because it's made it feel in the single digits. Yeah, I mean, teens is already bitterly cold. And then when you factor in the wind, yeah, we're waking up in the single digits this morning and it's going to continue to feel that way through the late morning into the early afternoon because of the wind. It's going to be gusting at 20 to 25, even 30 miles an hour, closer to 40 along the coast. So 9 a.m. as you're trying to get into the office, the walk from the car to the doorstep is going to be brutal. Feels like zero degrees there in Huntsville. Livingston feels like two. College Station and Conroe as we hit to 1030. Yeah, you'll start to see the teens there for downtown, but not a whole lot better. In fact, a lot of us are still in the single digit six degrees and Conroe will be the feeling seven for Katie. Into the afternoon, we'll start to see the wind finally take a back seat and then sunshine will make an appearance for today. However,
and the bitterly cold temperatures will last us. So when does this wind start to die down? So right after the lunch hour, I think those gusts will start to be at around 15 to 20 miles an hour and then much better by this afternoon. Look at that high temperature for tomorrow, 49 degrees. Now don't let your guard up because overnight Tuesday into Wednesday temperatures again dropping into the teens and then we'll start to see some real relief. Jen, some relief on the roads, I hope. Uh, you know, we're just encouraging folks to avoid travel if at all possible. If you are not a first responder, you don't have to be at work. Just stay where you are. There are still 60 icy roads listed and many more across our area. According to Houston Transtar, if you have to be out, slow down. That is the name of the game this morning. North Beltway eastbound at the Hardy. We still have an 18 wheeler crash. Uh, still some slow going conditions nearby. A right lane is the only thing that gets through. You can see how traffic is crawling and as they should be utilizing that one right lane. This is the KD freeway uh, at 99 and I did want to update you for the Sugarland folks who know that 59 was shut down for a large stretch. It still is. Main lanes are closed. Uh, Pecan Grove, you can count on 99 being out of service. The feeder roads are open and those city offices in Sugarland are expected to open at noon. But it's big overpasses like this that we are still concerned with. Those connectors to I-10, dangerous if not completely blocked. You've seen our Victor Jacobo up in the Woodlands area where the huge Woodlands Parkway off ramp is closed and you can see Southwest Freeway that inbound ramp to spur 527 is also shut down on this Tuesday morning. So just stay home if you can. Absolutely. I know that my kids were listening last night. They are out of school. So yes, they're probably uh, continuing to sleep. Let's hope right now. So uh, the reason is because of the winter precip that fell yesterday and we stayed below freezing. So live look at the radar. There's no additional precipitation. So no freezing rain, no chance for flurries today. It's cold enough to support that, but we are dry. In fact, skies are actually going to clear and we're expecting sunshine this afternoon, but it shifts now to the bitter cold and the wind. So it is probably shouldn't surprise you we have broken our daily record low temperature so it was 22 for today our record low is already down to 19. we will see if we go any lower so 19 degrees is the actual temperature but it's feeling like four i mean that is really dangerously cold bitter cold outside your wind chill is at four degrees sustained winds out of the north at 18 miles per hour so it's the actual temperatures that's the reason we're under a hard freeze warning this morning and we will be tomorrow morning as well we have one more uh, night and morning of this with temperatures in the teens and 20s pretty much area wide. It is the wind though that that's what's causing dangerous wind chill sustained out of the north around 10 to 25 miles per hour. But some of our wind gusts this morning have been even over 40 miles per hour. We're at 37 right now in Galveston, 23 mile per hour gusts in Sugarland, 31 mile per hour gusts there in Tomball. So our feels like temperatures area wide are all in the single digits. So if you're waking up warm, be very thankful this morning, okay? Six degrees is your feels like in Sugarland, six in Tomball, two. That's the current feels like in Huntsville. Not out of the question though this morning, we drop below zero with some of our wind chills. And Kim uh, Castro, we've been tag teaming over the past couple days. That's why we have a wind chill warning. And this is really dangerous when we could say, hey, even here locally, we could be five degrees below zero. Gosh, that is just horrible to even think about, but you're right. It's the wind that's not just inconvenient and uh, painful to feel. It's dangerous. It really drops that core body temperature quickly. So uh, keep that in mind for today. Try and limit any activity outdoors, even the time that it takes for you to get to your car and into the office. Uh, make sure you're dressed in layers and don't have any of your extremities exposed because wind gust will be at 20, 25, 30 miles an hour through the late morning into the early afternoon. In fact, there's a winded advisory along the coastline with gusts up to 40 miles an hour for this morning. As we head into the three, four o'clock hour, that's when winds finally start to relax and we'll see some improvement. Still going to be bitterly cold under a hard freeze warning through tomorrow morning. What's the feeling going to be like out there? Single digits right now and it continues to feel like the single digits two hours in advance. That's a snapshot at eight o'clock as we take you through the afternoon. This is when that wind chill warning and advisory expires. We're in the teens, still dangerously cold, so uh, those precautions still in place by the afternoon will be in the feeling of the low 20s. Hour by hour actual temperature forecast will have us bumping up to the upper 20s to low 30s under plenty of sunshine, but that's still below freezing. In fact, today's high temperature 31 degrees, but the warmest will actually feel 
22 because those wind gusts are still going to be at around 20 to 25 miles an hour until 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So today is the day to listen to your body. These are some of the signs that you're losing heat too quickly in case you have any relatives that work outside. Give them these tips and make sure that they pay attention to them, not just for today, but through the overnight hours as we are still under a hard freeze warning dipping down to 19 degrees tomorrow. Relief will come in the afternoon and through the end of the week. Jen. Thanks a lot, Kim. Okay, if you don't have to travel, I know I'm going to sound like a broken record, but just stay cuddled up right where you are. If you are an essential worker or you have to be at work, I'm going to start off with some good news coming from Laporte PD. It continues to remain in place. These main lanes that are free of ice include 225 State Highway 146, the Fred Hartman Bridge, and also the Washburn Tunnel is open. The Lynchburg Ferry is closed, but nonetheless, you want to allow for extra time no matter where you're coming in from. Reduce those speeds if you have to be out on the highways. The 18 wheeler crash is still working on the North Beltway eastbound at the Hardy. The reason why you're seeing a lot of yellow along the Hardy, some orange along the 45 corridor, some yellow along 249 is because traffic that is out there is taking it extremely slowly. You can see here with our live picture 290. There's also an inbound incident at FM 529. So that's why you're getting the blip of red right here. And Christina Cruz, we have a look at the West Park, which is uh, not being utilized too much. And some of my coworkers said that they were not able to access some of those on and off ramps, but I'm seeing traffic right now get through at Eldridge. Yeah, it's looking good in that area.